I got one bag with triple price, $34. Today I came here only for rice, Sona Masuri rice. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. um, there has been a shortage. Uh, could you uh, talk to us about you know the difficulty that you have uh, faced mm -hmm. to get a bag of rice? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am living like 30 miles from this place. So I was looking for this rice. It's a normal, regular life. Okay, I didn't even look into this uh, whatever crazy news at all. So <laughs> I went almost 10 plus shops. To get one bag of non mas whatever sona masuri rice okay so i travel all the way to morning i started 9 a.m searching each and every shop i ended today at, what is the time now it's a 4 p.m i got one bag with triple price 34 dollars days ahead uh, for the non basmati uh, don't look that uh, good in my opinion as long as the ban is in place uh, uh, there's going to be severe uh, shortages of sona masuri uh, rice idli rice other south indian rice uh, uh, but i do expect over the next couple of weeks uh, uh, the market on the basmati rice to stabilize uh, like I mentioned, there's a little ignorance in the market. Uh, people are uh, uh, not necessarily, the average consumer are, is not necessarily uh, uh, educated to know that this ban was only on uh, the non-Basmati uh, and uh, sh uh, with, uh, the chefs and end consumers alike are just trying to get as much stock as possible uh, because this is a staple item and uh, they don't want to be uh, you know, further caught off guard. But my expectation is uh, Basmati rice uh, market will s stabilize in the next couple of weeks. Uh, demand will be a little bit higher. Prices will be a little bit higher on the Basmati uh, rice side. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we do look forward to when the non-Basmati uh, ban is lifted so the market can be, uh, uh, go, go back to normal. 